Hi everyone, I'm Russell and I'm back with another unproven tip and trick. All of a sudden it's summer and what's more summer than tie-dye? So today I'm going to show you how to tie-dye something you have around the house in the Instant Pot. Here it is. I'm going to take a spatula, put it right here in the middle of my hoodie and start twisting it, twisting it, and twisting it. If you don't have hair bands laying around the house, get like a big rubber band. You know the kind that holds like your asparagus together? Use that. All right, so I filled the pressure cooker halfway with water. I'm gonna put in my trivet. I don't have any fabric dye, so I thought, well, why not use Easter egg dye? It's unproven. I'm gonna do a... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops of purple, and let's do one, two, three, four, five drops of teal. Let's give that a stir. And let's add some distilled white vinegar. I don't know how much, it's unproven. Let's put this inside here. Uh-oh. Too much water. I'm gonna empty a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to rinse this in cold water and we'll see what we have. All right, I rinsed it with cold water. I'm getting the rest of the excess out and I'm gonna throw it in the dryer and I'll see you in a little bit. Look how nice it came out. I love it. It's cool, it's understated. Come on, turns out Easter egg dye in an Instant Pot is a great way to tie-dye your clothes. That's all for today. Stay tuned tomorrow, maybe, for more unproven tips and tricks.